All right, day five of the chicken coop build. We have about two hours left of sunlight, so we're gonna try to get a little bit of work done today. We're gonna do some of the framing with the windows and some more cross bracing inside. So let's get started. Okay, so we are gonna call it quits for the night. I'm envisioning this will take us quite a few more days. It's a pretty big project we took on and every step of the way, it just seems to be more complex than we thought it out. Um, so we have framed in the windows. We need to frame in the top window or windows and we're gonna add one like cross brace on the top roof. And tomorrow we will be putting up plywood and then from there, we're gonna be doing windows, we're gonna be putting in the siding and putting on roofing last. We also have to build a carport too that we're gonna to have or an overhang. So we'll be building that as well throughout all this and getting the inside ready for the chickens, which we will be picking up next week.
right, so we are well into day seven of this chicken coop build. We didn't get to work too much on day five and six. We just worked for a few hours in the afternoon. And I think it snowed the other day too. So I wanted to take this as a moment to kind of talk about the design that we're doing. I believe it's called a skillion and lean-to. Probably saying that wrong, but the the actual design is kind of like a spin-off from a like open front or open air chicken coop. And these have been around for over a hundred years. I will put a link in the description of the gentleman that was the first person to design them. And basically it's designed to have these screens on the front. So we're not even gonna have windows, it's just gonna be screens and air is gonna come in through there and it'll circulate out through the top. And so you may be thinking that the chickens are gonna get way too cold, but this type of chicken coop is designed for cold climates specifically, since we won't be having a heat lamp in there with them. And we also are not insulating it. That would defeat the purpose. So the whole point again is to have less moisture in there. There's a lot of water in their droppings, and that's gonna help with their respiratory system, but also minimize the chance of frozen combs and toes. So I'm gonna let Eric tell you guys what we are working on next. Okay, so we've actually got quite a bit accomplished today. We got all of our siding up. We reinforced some of the walls in a few places, and we got the windows all framed out. And I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get our um, plywood up on that top portion of the roof and get that nailed down and maybe get some of our metal roofing done. Okay, so this section of roof right here is 10 by 10, so it's a lot bigger. That's why we're gonna be putting the plywood down first and then we're gonna nail, or we're gonna screw in the metal roofing to that. chicken coop build and we're doing a side like overhang area for the chickens too just to help with snow and make sure they have a big enough area in the winter that's not covered with snow. Just digging these holes we're going trying to go down a couple feet into the ground every hole is different soil and so what we did look up is we're kind of digging like bell-shaped holes down there so when the concrete sits in there that should help it with frost heaving. So with this lean-to we're building we're trying to use materials we've gotten for free and not have to spend too much money. We already spent a little bit of money on the coop itself, but we did get to use some free stuff too, so that's awesome. But again, not gonna be perfect. We're just kind of using what we have and the skills that we have as well. So at our old place, we are very familiar with digging posts and I mean our old our old property had a, like an actual rock quarry so I'm pretty sure the whole property was just one big rock and Eric had to dig a lot of those holes I dug a lot of them too and it was excruciating so these ones are better the soil softer and we bought this cool post digger is that what it's called yeah post hole digger feels like we're back at home we're hitting some major rocks but one rock left in this hole, and then we're done. Okay, so I officially just took the biggest rock out of a hole I've ever dug out. She's dense, that's why it was so heavy. But she was a, she was a big old son of a gun. 
It's a nice rock though. Anyways, now our hole's like three feet deep. So I think we're good. That's the last hole. Hardest part's over. Next step is to pick out our logs that we're gonna use in these holes. This uh, lean-to carport type thing we're building, it's gonna have a real rustic look to it. We're gonna use some uh, spruce logs that are probably about eight inches in diameter and they're gonna still have the bark on them. So it's gonna be a pretty cool looking little shelter that these chickens are gonna have. So we are on day 10 today and we're putting up the siding. It's taking a little bit longer than we thought, but it's pretty fun. Two things keep happening. Eric has to snack like every 10 minutes and we keep losing our pencils. I've already lost one today and we bought a whole bunch of new ones the other day, but we're already losing them. So that's how this day is going. As you can tell, we're working on our siding. We're using pine for that. We got almost all of it done. Only thing we have left to do on it is get that top section and we need to finish off some of the trim. And then we're gonna to try to get the door in today and some concrete in the holes to set our post for our little overhang for the chickens. finally finished the exterior of the chicken coop. It took us, I think, over two weeks or about two weeks. A lot of those were part days that we were working. We're pretty happy with it. I know it may not be perfect, but I, again, I think, I think it's pretty good. 
for our skill level. Things we still have to do is get the inside ready, paint the front door, and build a little door for the chickens to come in and out from. Okay, so this is one of the cooler parts I think we decided to add onto this coop. This is an eight by 10, like a lean-to, and this is basically just gonna be cover for the chickens, whether it's from snow, rain, or the sun. So, pretty stoked on this thing. So we went with the locally milled pine siding for the coop, and we think it turned out awesome. And we're gonna leave it just natural like this. We're not gonna stain it or anything like that. And we ended up getting a nice interior door for free that we used on the coop, and it fit perfectly. So all this metal roofing that we used, except for one piece, was uh, either free or used for relatively cheap. And we went with the metal because it's gonna shed the snow a lot easier. And we have plans to keep the snow off the roof and we're gonna be able to have the snow blower fit in here to manage the snow. Okay, so our next step is gonna to be to complete the inside of the coop, followed by building a huge fence around this whole entire thing. Which should be fun. All in all, it was a very good learning experience for us and we are happy with how it turned out.